G Wells with them and them are you which are the chosen ones and I'm chosen to serve the chosen ones. Hey y'all, y'all need to get out that little bitty ass bag and get in that purpose. Because by you getting in your purpose, you gonna cause another chosen one to see you operating in your purpose and something inside of them gonna go off and they gonna get in their purpose. And the cycle just going to keep going and going and going and going and going. Like the Energizer Bunny. Y'all know what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's just going to keep going. And it's going to be a ripple effect. And it's going to be a major shift in the world. When all the chosen ones get in their purpose, dog. Because the word says, when two or three chosen ones come together, I am amongst them. You know what I'm saying? And that I am is whatever you want it to be. That's why the most high is whatever you want him to be. That's why when you do your affirmations, I am blessed. I am healed. I am wealthy. I am rich. You can go on YouTube and find any affirmation and it's all I am. You feel me? Because I am the most high. I am is the most high. The most high is whatever you want him to be. This is our time. It's time for us to show the world what the most high has placed in us. You know what I'm saying? No more lying dormant. Stop letting your, 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 your purpose just sit up and not do anything for you. You know what I'm saying? It's time for us to get out that bag and get in our purpose. You know what I'm saying? We balling, in, we balling on purpose over here. You hear me? It's time. This is our time, y'all. Chosen ones. It's time. It's time to show the world what the Most High has placed in us. You feel me? It's time for us to get what we got coming to us. We've been letting everybody else win long enough. It's time for the chosen ones to step up and step in their purpose. Because we balling on a purpose. You feel me? We balling on purpose over here. This ain't no facade. We balling on purpose. Chosen one for a reason. You are a chosen one for a reason. You have a specific mission that the Most High has designed for you. And your purpose can only be fulfilled by you because it's specifically designed and tailored to who you are in your spirit. You feel me? So you are not chosen just to hold this position and reap the rewards of being a chosen one, which is an abundant life. You know what I'm saying? You have to do the work, the spiritual work. You have to do the work against powers and principalities that have been going and plaguing your family for generation after generation after generation after generation. You are the one that's going to break that cycle, break those curses. That's why you're the first one to graduate in your family. The first one to write a book in your family. The first one to ever own a business <clears throat> in your family. First one to marry in your family. Have wife, husband, and kids. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever fits you. You are the first. Fears that have been plaguing your family for generation after generation is coming up against you through your family. That's not, that's not auntie and mama and sister coming up against you. Those are those spirits because they know that you are the chosen one. And that's why they come up against you. It ain't your mama. It's that spirit. They coming up against you. You are the chosen one. You know what I'm saying? And they know who you are. They're, them spirits are scared of you because you have been chosen by the Most High and you have that power within you to change, change the whole trajectory of your family and generations to come. That's why you gotta get out that little bitty ass bag and get in your purpose. Because this is bigger than you. These, these spirits that's working through your family, they gonna say, they gonna do all type of stuff to you. Just to throw you off and, and, and Make you give up on your purpose and give up on your journey. But y'all got to stay the course. You can't worry about your opposition. You got to continue on with the mission. You feel me?
Because y'all here to set some stuff straight. You the one your grandma from eight, ten generations ago been praying for to come save the family. You are. You. Yes, you. Looking at me. You are the chosen one. You are the one your great, 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 great grandparents been praying for to come save and, and, and save the family and be the savior. They waiting for you to return. You the returning chosen one that's coming back. You are for your family. You the chosen one. This not hey, this ain't no game, y'all. This this thing real. This thing real. Because if you do this thing right, your kids, 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 kids gon' 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 be living right. They gonna be in the blessing of God. But if you if you if you drop the ball on this, guess what? Those cycles are gonna keep coming, and then they are gonna have to wait till the next chosen one come after you. Don't sit on your don't sit on your purpose. Get out that little bitty ass bag and get in your purpose. I'm gonna say it again. Get out that little bitty ass bag and get in your purpose. Because over here with G Wells with them, with them being the chosen ones, which are you, we balling on purpose. You feel me? We ain't balling on the bag and we balling on purpose. That's what we. We balling on purpose over here, baby.